my local area had been hammered by a serious weather event. Flooding, slips and some lives were tragically lost. Once it cleared, there was only a window of opportunity before a full-on cyclone was due. So Stevie and I hooked up with Matt again, who led us south to an area on the west coast I had never fished before. I wasn't very impressed. Fishing gear. Can't fish you can't fish over that. It's impossible. We have to keep going. There's no option. So the fishing's so bad, shit spot's gonna lead us on a walk over a hill. Look at that blue water out there, man. Wow. What a contrast. Oh, look at that ledge. Oh, man. Oh. Man, it looks like you could almost get there, eh? Yeah. Track those winds over there. You can get down that ridge if you're fit enough. It's a hell of a walk. Hell of a walk. Yeah, we're going to try another one of your shit spots. Your idea. Hey. Follow you. Your idea. Have you ever tried? Hey man, have you ever tried Sunset Beach? Wow, it looks really good. Look at this video. Ooh, wow. Pretty useless. The side onto the waves here. It's not that fishable. It's got potential if the water clarity was a bit better, but still a shit spot. Old shit spots over there, going hard. What was that, man? Nice, man. Look, wow. It's a real fish, man. Go get it on ice, bro. What have you done to us? Stevie's up there sulking. I'm just walking backwards and forwards in a state of wonder. This is a shit spot. Well, we woke up the next morning and the tarp was facing the wrong direction. The rain had come in. We got saturated in the night. Had to wait there. Well, the sun came up enough so we could walk out of there. It was a bit of a disaster. It's a couple of days after that storm devastated parts of New Zealand. Cyclone Gabriel. Um, settled right down the water, but uh, still a lot of crap floating around. There's mountains of seaweed built up. I thought I'd try the east coast because uh, West Auckland just got absolutely hammered. All the spots are completely changed. There's so much debris washed out. People's homes have been destroyed. Lives have been lost. It's been a disaster out there. So I thought I'd come out here where I know the water quality will be a little bit better than anywhere else at the moment. See if there's any fish lurking in close. But she's pretty quiet. 
lots of little fish around stealing soft baits pillies and that sort of thing but put on a decent bait and nothing's touching it Oh my god, that one's actually legal. That's keepable. There seem to be only small fish around during the daylight hours. We intended to fish into the night. But while being mesmerised by an electrical storm on the horizon line, a seagull stole the last of our bait. Snapper, mate. Oh, good one. Oh, grab it below the uh, swivel if you can. Nice! What's that about a 48? Yeah, Decent, like 48 centimeter maybe. It's a massive one. layer of it. Man, it must go rock hard after a while when it dries out. Especially when it's a few metres deep in some parts of the country. The harbour waters were starting to clear since the cyclone. I fished a few spots, noting the fish activity was slowly returning, along with the water clarity. The two little floats will hold up the swivels off the bottom, and when if the rock gets snagged, it'll just snap off with that lighter line. The big float should come to the surface, and then I'll slide a slider down, and the float will hold it on the surface, as long as I don't snap my rod trying to cast it. It's a big, heavy rock. Oh. 
just got smashed again. No hook, you've got to be kidding me. Stolen again. The last bloody live bait. He hasn't even got a nose on him. Oh, he's tiny. So yeah, there you go through there, sorry mate. Oh, get out of it! Get out of it! Oh. Stuffing out where we are, making a plan. Decided to persevere out east. Stevie and I went to a new area and did some prospects. Plenty of options to fish. We're just about to go for a little bait session over there. Got a little sack of bread out, soaking for a few piper, hopefully. Prospecting, new location. It turned out to not be the easiest place in the world to fish, particularly over the higher end of the tide. The stand over there, cast out there, there's a lot of fowl in there. Fowl everywhere. <laughs> Swell's definitely dropped, tide has receded. We are back out there. It's not massive, but it's good. <laughs> Finally a fish! Big snapper, man! Hold! I just got wasted. It's gonna get dark quick now. Snappers are on the bite. Finally. Oh. You still on? Yep. Good fish. Oh yeah, nice fish. Oh yeah, real good fish. 
Oh. Oh, you got him. <laughs> oh, nice fish, man. Nice fish. Oh, man. 75, 76, 77. Bloody difficult, eh? Want to give it a go? Oh, no. Um, you can just cut it? Yeah, just cut them off. He'll live with that one in the corner of the mouth, easy. Okay, release time. That's a good rock for that one. Yeah. He's waking up. Here he goes. Oh. Is he really calmer? Yeah, probably. Let's go this way. Try this over here. Whoa. He wants to go. Yeah, he will. Big way. Oh, big way. Any really calmer in the bay? No, nah, not really. I think he might be keeping them. Put him in a rock pool or something, eh? That's right, yeah. See if he can recover a bit. I don't think he's going to go. So the snap is not going to go. The decision's been made to icky him. I'm going to have to make the best of it. What a shame. Is it our best? Never mind. I got soaked. I want to be sleeping soaked tonight. <laughs> I, tried my, I tried my best. Yeah, you tried your best. We stopped fishing after that. The moon set and eventually we went on our way. Hope you found it interesting. Catch you on the next one.